Let us now pray the Regina Chen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom we did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer before the Mass Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance and of eternal light, and poor and needy. To the Lord of heaven and earth, Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. 
Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. Sing to the Lord with shouts of joy, let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God, He is the Lord, He is the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, today's gospel tells us that Jesus is concerned about our welfare, that he even prays for us. Let us then continue to ask Jesus to protect us, most especially to guide us, so that we can always follow him to the Father. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for the intentions of this Holy Mass. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Panginoon, maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Kristo, maawa ka. Kristo, maawa ka sa Graciously grant to your church, we, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you and with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts, 
of the apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed of you overseers, in which attend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So he vigilant, be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of the sword, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kingdom bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Your kingdom of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we kain bo po na kikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to the heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name, so that you may, or that, so that you have, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one, just as we are one. 
When I was with you, or when I was them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word and that the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you keep them out of the world, but you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapag ang nanay at tatay po ay aalis ng bahay, sisiguraduhin po niya na ang kanyang mga anak ay safe. Kaya what is the usual na gagawin po ng nanay o tatay, no? ibibilin ang anak sa kapitbahay o sa kamag-anak o anybody na mas matatanda kesa sa kanilang mga anak who can take care of their children. Diba? So, ibibilin po niya. Take care of them. Pakainin niyo sila mabuti. Diba? Alagaan niyo sila. No? Huwag niyo silang pabayaan maglaro ng matagal. Huwag niyo silang hayaan magpawis. Di ba? Yan po yung mga binibilin ng isang nanay o tatay sa mga kakilala para alagaan ang kanilang mga anak. To this gospel po, ganyan din po yung ginawa ni Jesus. Ibinibilin po niya ang mga disciples, ang mga followers. Kanino po? No? Kanino po niya ipinag bibilin ang mga followers niya to God the Father. No? Sabi nga po ni Jesus, actually this is a prayer to God the Father. Ipinagdarasal ni Jesus na ang mga followers niya, tayo, ng mga tagasunod sa kanya. Dahil in our gospel, nakita natin the concern of Jesus na kapag siya ay aakyat na sa langit, which is what we call ascension into heaven, what will happen sa mga disciples dito sa mundo? No? What will happen to them? So, ang dasal ni Jesus ay, Lord, cons I consecrate them to you. Ibig sabihin, Lord, bahala ka na sa kanila. Diyos Ama, bahala ka na sa kanila. Take care of them. No? Yan po ang sabi ni Jesus no, sa ating Diyos Ama na ipinagdarasal niya na ang Diyos Ama bantayan niya yung mga sumusunod kay Kristo. In fact, ang ganda nga ng sabi niya, keep them away from the evil one. No? Hindi ko sinasabing tanggalin mo ang problema nila. Hindi ko sinasabing tanggalin mo ang hirap sa mundo. Pero, Huwag mo silang pabayaan na sila ay maimpluensya ng demonyo, ng masasama. Yan po yung dasal ni Jesus para sa atin na sumusunod. You see? The concern of Jesus. Paalis na si Jesus, papunta sa langit, no? going back to the Heavenly Father. Pero He is assuring na tayo po ay naaalagaan na tayo po ay safe. No? So He prayed for us. So today's gospel po reminds us also to pray for one another, to take care of one another, na sana hindi rin po mahulog sa evil ang ating kapatid, ang ating kasama, ang ating kapamilya. No? Na sana po kagaya ni Jesus, tayo din po ay concern na ligtas ang bawat isa. No? Yan po yung sinasabi sa atin ng ating pong gospel. 
kasi marami pong biases na ang tawag sa atin na ngayon ay indifferent. No? Marami po sa atin ngayon ay tinatawag na indifferent. Ano po ang indifferent? Ang indifferent po ay walang pakialam. Example, kung yung kasama mo ay nadapa, no? hayaan mo lang siyang madapa. Huwag mo kang gagalaw, huwag mong papakialaman. That is indifference. No? Marami po sa atin ang ganyan ngayon. Marami tayong kababayan o kahit na sa atin pong mismong community ay hirap na hirap sa buhay, hayaan nyo nga silang magutom. Di ba? Hayaan nyo silang mamatay sa hirap ng buhay. Wala tayong pakialam. Wala tayong concern. No? And yet, we follow Jesus. At anong ginawa ni Jesus? Si Jesus, kahit paakyat na siya sa langit, no? He is ascending to heaven, to the Father. Anong ginawa niya? Ipinakita pa rin niya ang kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. That He even prayed to the Heavenly Father na sana huwag tayong pabayaan. So today, that is also the challenge of our gospel na bilang mga followers of Jesus, as sons and daughters of God, as brothers and sisters, as friends of Jesus, let us take care of one another. Let us continue to love one another. Sabi nga po nila, kung kristyano ka, hindi ka pwedeng indifferent. Ibig sabihin, kung kristyano ka, hindi pwedeng wala kang pakialam. Why? Because you need to take care of one another. Yan di ba ang bilin din po ni Jesus sa atin? Love one another as I have loved you. So ang ibig sabihin po, when we see brothers and sisters na hihirapan, tayo po ay may responsibilidad to take care of them. No? To do something para guminhawa at buhay nila. Dahil yan ang bilin ni Jesus sa atin. So as we continue with this Mass, we ask the Lord Jesus to send us the Spirit so that we may have the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of love, the Spirit of concern to one another, but most especially to pray for one another. Amen. Please stand. As we prepare for Pentecost, we know that even as we live in the world, we do not belong to the world. The truth or this truth calls us to pray for all people in union with Christ who wills that no one be lost. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Christians may have faith in God's love and find unity in the one shepherd. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That public servants may witness to the truth of their faith, especially in the exercise of their powers and the fulfillment of their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Christian faithful may strive to seek holiness in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the old, the lonely, the handicapped, and the sick may trust in God who strengthens them with the warmth of His presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may live forever with God who is love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gentle Father, as long as we love one another, you live in us and your love will be complete in us. Receive our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all his holy church accept O lord we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through or through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful exer dutiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. But us peace. Please. the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Today we continue our novena in honor of Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat. O Mary, Mother of Mercy, Virgin of the Visitation of Piat, you are blessed among all women and the most compassionate of mothers. You take pity upon all those who call upon you. Every day, your children invoke your name and sing your praises of love, Mary, mercy, and humility. For when the angel announced that you are, or you, to you your divine motherhood and the happy lot of your cousin Elizabeth, who was to be the mother of the precursor of your divine son, you did not, or you did hasten to pay her a visit of love and respect, praising God's mercy towards her. You, in your charity and humility, did not think of the distance and difficulties of the journey over the hill country to the house of your cousin. You did think only of accomplishing the will of God and bringing joy to Elizabeth. At your arrival, the infant leaped with joy in the womb of his mother, signifying your greatness and the fortune of those whom you deign to visit with your motherly love and mercy. Do also, O great mother, visit our homes so that we may be delivered from all dangers of body and soul. Bring peace to our families, preserve us in our health and concord, deliver us from all temptations that may lead us away from the path of virtue. Take special care of us, particularly at these perilous times in which we live. Strengthen us in hours of trials, comfort us in sorrow, succor us in, our, in all our necessities. <coughs> O sweet mother, since you know how much we stand in need of your motherly care, assist us at every moment of our lives, but especially at the moment of our death. At that instant, do come with Jesus to lead us from this life to the enjoyment of eternal bliss in heaven. Amen. Prayer for the Third Day O Queen of Heaven and Earth, mirror of true charity, when we consider the love in which you did undertake the journey from Nazareth to the abode of your cousin Elizabeth, we cannot but feel ashamed at the, at the lack of charity we have towards our neighbor. In that visit of yours, you did not or you did forget yourself. You did disregard the dangers of the way, the fatigue, and the difficulties you had to meet. O Heavenly Mother of Love, would that we had a little of your selflessness, your humility, your generosity, your burning charity for God and your neighbor. But we are so selfish so conscious of our dignity, real and imaginary. We are so cold in love towards God and therefore so lacking in charity towards our neighbor. <coughs> Would that we had a little spark of that love that ever burns in your immaculate heart. Would that we would or we could serve our divine master and our fellow men as 
unselfishly and as humbly as you did. O oh, dear mother of fear love, take away from our poor hearts all the draws of incoordinate affection so that we may love God with a pure and undivided heart. Purge from our sinful heart every affection of sin or to sin and fill them with a burning love for Christ and our neighbor. Purify our intentions so that we may think, speak, act only in for the love of God and the good of our fellow men. Take from us the desire to think or speak ill of others and instill into our hearts the grace to forgive and forget whatever injury we have received from others. Finally, do ever preserve us in the grace of God so that we may grow daily in the love of Christ and increase in charity towards our neighbor. For them, we shall have the assurance to come one day and sing forever your glory in heaven in company with all the angels and saints. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, heard without end. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. Final prayer for every day. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, you are the asylum of the poor and the hope of sinners among whom we count ourselves the most abject. For this reason, we come to you and implore you to look upon us with eyes of pity so that we may obtain forgiveness of, of our sins from your divine Son, whom we have grievously offended so often times in our lives. May the humble prayer we send up to your throne today in union with all the faithful on earth who invoke your name, serve for the increase of God's glory and your praise, for the exaltation of the Holy Mother, the Church, the deliverance of the poor souls in purgatory, and for our own salvation. O compassionate of mothers, we offer you our humble works in union with those of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Mother of mercy, by the pain that pierced your Immaculate Heart as you did stand at the foot of the cross, do strengthen the souls now in their last agony so that they may depart from this life peacefully and with your blessing. We implore you for the grace to die a happy death. Deign, O Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which you know we need most for our body and soul. Enlighten our minds 
fortify our wills so that we may live according to the will of our Creator and that we may have the confidence of meeting Him happily in the next life. Amen. Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. A mockulate mother, do you do we plead to us, God our Father, for help in our need? Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Please kneel. Prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I'll contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the word that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat, O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know, dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 